Good afternoon, everybody. I just wanted to hop on today. Figured I'd do a little questions and answering today. Just got my hair done. I'm going a little bit darker. I've been gradually going darker to get some healthiness back into this hair. So, shout out to my beautician, Angela Hansen. She works wonders and I love her. So, wanted to shout out to her. But I am going to be going live and doing some makeup. Let me fix this mirror. I am going to be putting on some foundation today. And I wanted to um, tell you a little bit about our foundation and really focus on that today and educate some of you viewers on what we offer. Um, we have a quiz that you can take. And our quiz matches you almost perfect. Like, I'm talking exactly to your skin tone. Um, it is flawless perfection. There is a few questions. It takes like one minute to take this quiz, and the matching is unbelievable. So it will give you an answer to your questions and tell you what suggestion that they offer for your skin tone. And their Shintos, their Olives, their Jenna Beiges, their Porcelains. And it'll tell you which one they suggest. It'll also tell you which concealers that they suggest for you to take. So if you're interested, I will put the link down below in the comments for you guys to take that quiz and we can get you matched and get you some of our concealers. Now our concealers are wax-based concealers and what that means is they sit on top of your skin. So unlike a lot of other foundations, they don't seep into your pores, they don't seep into those fine lines and wrinkles. So they're not gonna, they're not gonna go into those wrinkles and you're not going to see them seep into the pores and see those holes. They will sit on top of your, it will sit on top of your skin and create that flawless look that you see. So when you see people in those filters um, with that real nice skin, tight skin, that's what our foundation creates. We have 50% pigmentation in our, in our foundation. So what that means, a lot of your high-end brand foundations in the store, so when you're thinking of MAC, Sephora, Lancome, um, oh my gosh, I, I don't even know which other ones I can think of right now. Um, you're thinking of those high-end foundations, they're only 15 to 25% uh, pigmentation in their foundations. We are 50% pigmentation in our foundation. That is huge, you guys. We are in the theaters. We are in Broadway shows. We are actresses wear our foundations. Any kind of, uh, you see people on the Broadway shows. So that's why our makeup looks so flawless and we don't need filters. This makeup lasts three times the uh, amount of time that your Mac would. So this makeup is gonna last so much longer. Now this is what my palette looks like. I am the Shinto one, and then I have my concealers. Now it's pretty thick. These are magnetic, and you build your own. It sits inside this palette. So you will get this separate from your foundations. And these are individually labeled on the back so you can always pop them out. There's a little hole right here, you just pop them out. And the name is on the back, so it's very, very, I'm gonna do this for you so you can see it. It's really nice because they won't fall out and crack. You won't have any of that, like a lot of other foundations. I was really skeptical when I first heard of this. I'd never used 
wax based foundation so I was really nervous so this is what it looks like they'll come in a plastic case and this is what it looks like like I said it's magnetic so I was really nervous um, when I heard of wax based foundation. I was like, I've never used this. It's going to feel really heavy on my skin. I don't like feeling like I wear makeup. Um, as you can see, I'm a pretty natural girl. I don't, I don't wear a lot of makeup at all. And I was like, wax based foundation. Oh my God, it's going to feel thick on my skin. I'm going to be like, oh, I can't do this. I'm going to, it's going to feel heavy. And when I put this on, you will see it looks so natural. It's so light, so airy. And, and I just love it. So this is our palette, you build it. These are the concealers. And when you match it against our quiz, it will give you the perfect shade for your skin. And it will suggest the concealers that go with your skin type. One will conceal the dark circles around your eyes. And one will help with the redness in your skin. So if you have blemishes, or if you have rosacea or anything like that, it has blue undertones, so it will cover that redness, which is great. So what I do is, since it is wax-based, like I told you, is I usually keep it underneath my leg to warm it up a little bit. And then I take my blender full and it's already wet. So I wet it and then I squeeze it out. And I put it into my foundation. And I start to apply it. And you will see right away. And I just pat it out. It is so nice. It smells so good because it's plant-based. So there's no chemicals in here. It's all natural. You don't ever have to worry about breaking out any allergic reactions. We do have one of our beauty guides that was really worried about it because she's allergic to beeswax. I'm gonna do one side of the face first so you can see the difference. She's allergic to um, beeswax. So she was allergic or she was nervous that she'd be um, allergic to this. And um, we found out there is no beeswax in here. And um, we do have some beeswax into the concealer, but it is distilled and boiled out and processed so much that it is out of there so she won't have um, an allergic reaction to it. So she is able to wear it, which is so nice because this stuff is a bomb.com. It is so nice. So I am just applying this to the one side. And like I said, you guys, it is like you have a filter on your face. It is so nice. So I do put the concealer wherever there is darkness because wherever there's darkness, you want it to pop out. Or not so much pop out, but you don't want it to be dark anymore. And when it's dark, it looks sunken in. Does that make sense? Hi, Gina. Hi, Tiffany. Thanks for watching, guys. Just doing a quick uh, foundation tutorial and answering some questions that people may have because our foundation is so, so nice and it's such a high demand because it is a professional makeup. And all the stars wear it, actresses wear it. It's $36 for a foundation, which is very, very affordable and comparable to other high-end makeup brands. And it lasts three times longer than any other foundation that you find out there. Plus, it's all natural, plant-based. It's a wax-based foundation. So if you get sprayed with water, 
you're sweating, go through the car wash, it's not going to drip off, off your face. It is not going to turn colors. I know that some women wear foundation and then over time it darkens. If you have it on for a long time throughout the day, it gets darker. Ours doesn't do that, which is really nice. I never had that experience before. Hi, Trisha. I never had that experience before because, like I said, I never um, was a big fan of foundation because it used to, every time I tried using it, for one, never could color match because it's either too pink, too yellow, too cakey, too heavy, hey, Peg, to whatever, and I, I, I never could do it. I just, I, I would put a full face on and wash it right off. Hated it. But um, with ours, it's amazing. So, um, yeah, it, it won't come off. It's not going to discolor. It's not going to drip. You won't need to reapply this. It will stay on all day. You don't need to work it in and blend it and, and do all of that because it's so easy and it's smooth as butter. Hey, Sarah. So, and also, if you guys are around, Gina, I could get you a sample. I have some samples that I'm making for people. I can tell you this till I'm blue in the face. And you can believe me, you don't have to believe me. But the moment you guys get this on you, you're never going to put another foundation on. I promise you. I just went to my hairdresser. And Angela, you can, you can vouch for this. She just did my hair. Going darker, guys. Trying to get healthier. Um, I just put this on her face. She just put an order in. She was in awe. She's like, oh, my God, where's this been? Seriously? I can't believe this. Gave her a tad bit, tad bit. She's like, I cannot believe this foundation. She's like, seriously. It's like, it's like a filter. Unbelievable. So I have a little bit of a, I don't know. I, I, I'm a picker, so I have a little bit of a scab here. I'm just going to call it, um, cover that up. So we're just hanging out, putting on some foundation. It's kind of dreary here in Chicago. Everything's shut down. All of the restaurants are shut down. All of the bars are shut down. Hi, Sarah. Hello. I just got my hair done, so I figured I'd put on some foundation. You know, you always got to do your uh, makeup once you do your hair and see how it matches. So I'm just doing it. Just doing it. Telling people how wonderful our stuff is. I just color matched my beautician when she did my hair and she's in love. She just put an order in. I told her, I said, girl, I've been telling you guys how good this stuff is. I said, I tell you all the time in my lives. I said, and I know I sound funny or sound like some crazy girl that's just trying to push this foundation on you. And I'm not. I promise you, I'm not trying to just sell you a foundation because I'm not. I'm telling you because if you go out to that wedding or if you're getting married, I know this sounds funny, but if you're watching this and you're getting married and you're thinking about having some random woman doing your makeup because you want to look flawless or having that, um, what do they do, airbrush your face? No, don't pay $200 to get your face airbrushed. Get Lime Life. I know that sounds funny. You're like, okay, I'm going to buy Lime Life to do my wedding makeup. Hello, yes, yes. You're going to buy Lime Life to do your foundation and your makeup because it's that freaking good. 
Um, and I'm not lying. I'm not. I'm not. Try it. Try it before your wedding. Buy this. Try it. And if you don't believe me, return it. Return it. We have the happiness guarantee. You don't like this? Return it. 30 days. You have 30 days. Try this. Try it four times within those 30 days. You don't like it. You don't like the consistency. You don't think the color is absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. So if it's one shade off, half a shade off, return it. Get your money back. Return it for another shade, whatever it may be. Because I'm telling you, you're not going to get a better match and a better looking flawless face than you will with this foundation. I wasn't sold until I tried it myself. My girlfriend kept telling me, Kim, you got to try it. I was like, I don't wear foundation, Danya. I don't. I don't wear makeup. You'd never think that watching these lives, right? And now I love doing it because it doesn't feel like I'm wearing makeup. And it's so fun to wear because it makes me feel so pretty. I'm in a silly mood today. But you know what? In this day and age and what's going on in this world, if you don't laugh, you're going to cry. And... I'm not crying, y'all. Because you know why? Because I'm going to put on some makeup. And the makeup's too pretty to run. <laughs> oh, no! My light just went out. My Ricky mirror. Okay, it's back on. I think I had a glitch. Okay. So I'm going to swipe away for one second. Because I... Oh, my Ricky mirror. We might have to go without some light. Is it okay, guys? Can you see me okay? Why is it doing? Oh, I'm beeping. Wait, let me move this over. I've been going days and days, and actually a few weeks, whoop, without charging my Reiki mirror. I might have to charge it. Hold on. This Reiki mirror is the bomb. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. I'm having technical difficulties. Charging my Reiki mirror. Better? Okay. All right. So that's what I do with my car too. It drives my husband crazy. He's like, why do you go without gas? I'm like, I don't. I know when it's as empty. It's not empty yet. He's like, it's almost empty. <laughs> like, but it's not yet. I can, I can still do this. So I'm just going to do the clear eyebrow gel. I like this stuff. I did my, um, I tinted my eyebrows. And uh, shout out to Christine. She is my eyebrow lady. She is awesome. Um, so I tinted my eyebrows. So I just have our clear eyebrow gel. And it keeps everything in place. And I love it. I'm trying to get the courage to maybe do some shading on my eyebrows. Anybody ever have that? To create some depth. I'm not going to uh, do it today, but I usually will put some um, eyeshadow in there to create some depth. I'm not going to do it today. Just, you know, just kind of doing something quick but how are you guys how is everybody despite everything that's going on we're gonna keep this fun happy it's positive we're all stuck at home so if we're stuck at home might as well have it fun right gotta do something why not do your makeup Woo -hoo. hi julie how are you beautiful my beautiful friends, my beautiful ladies out there. So I'm just going to put some natural colors on. So, um, yeah, my girls have their last day of school today. And then they are home until April 6th. 
which is fine because I can work at home with Lime Life. So nice having your own business and being able to work at home. I also have my other part-time job um, in the medical field. I work at Advocate Health Group, Advocate Medical Group. And uh, <clears throat> I'm a healthcare professional. So um, that is a little bit nerve-wracking right now. But you know what? I'm safe. I'm, I protect myself and, um, you know, I can't live in fear. So we do what we need to do and that's all we can do, right? Protect ourselves, teach our kids good hand hygiene, clean, and, uh, Go on with our lives. The world can't stop. I know it's it's kind of is stopping right now, but um, let's see, Sarah. We are good. Have both my youngins at home. So mom is through. Yeah, I know. It's so nice to have our kids at home. It is. I love it. I sometimes we say they get on our nerves, but you know what? The minute that we don't have that chaos at home, we're missing it. Last night, my uh, my soon-to-be 12-year-old, she'll be 12, um, on Friday, she said, Mommy, I need you to lay with me. And I spoiled her, especially from the day she was born. We never let her fall asleep on her own. We always um, held her to fall asleep. Big mistake because she still needs us to lay with her when she goes to sleep. But you know what? I think to myself, those days are going to end sometime. And I enjoy every minute of it. So last night she said, Mommy, I love you so much. And I said, Baby girl, I love you too. So I uh, I hear you, Sarah. Um, as much as sometimes... They do get on our nerves. We wouldn't trade it for the world. So, hi, Laura. I miss my neighbor. I miss you so much. But I am lucky to have such wonderful neighbors where we're at, too. So, it's kind of nice. So, I'm just going in. Um, like I said, I, I just did my face with our foundation, our beautiful, flawless foundation. And then I'm using the Fierce by Alley. Love this stuff. Love this. This is our Speak Up palette. And very natural. So nice. Um, I'm just going to pick up the girls after this. Like I said, I just got my, my hair done. I've been uh, trying to go darker and darker with it. I've been blonde my whole life, and uh, it's just, it's starting to damage my hair so much, and like I said, I've just been trying to really take care of myself overall the past couple of years, and, and, and it started with the skin cancer a little bit on my chest, got that removed, so I've been trying to do all natural with my skincare routine and that's why I got into Lime Life. So I initially started Lime Life because I wanted to do the skincare. So I was like, I'm going to join Lime Life or not even join Lime Life at first. I I started, I was like, I want to try the skincare stuff. So I got samples of the skincare and I absolutely fell in love. And um, then my girlfriend told me about the foundation and I was like, I'm foundation not really blur foundation I was like I'll try it and then so I fell in love with the skincare and then the makeup was a total bonus like I didn't know where just blindsided me and then I fell in love with the makeup so now I'm a total believer 
And I figured, I love this stuff so much. And people kept saying, God, your makeup is so nice. Your skin looks so pretty. Where do you get it? So then I was like, hello, hello, beauty guide, me, beauty guide. So this is what I do now. I am a beauty guide. It's me. So let's see, Sarah, one of yours is in college. I'm home for the time being. Eyebrows are perfect. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I've never been into the eyebrow thing, and I always have done my own eyebrows. Um, I pluck them and everything, and I, I never could get them waxed. Because every time I'd get them waxed, they always would want to wax up here. And I don't even have hair up there. I always grow the like fine, blonde, blonde, baby, white hair. And um, they want to pluck them. Or, you know, maybe not pluck them, but uh, wax them. And I'm like, no. And then I'd break out. So I'm like, forget it. So... I, I've been doing my own eyebrows for, oh my God, years and years. And just recently, like I mentioned, I went to this lady named Christine. And if you guys are local, she's phenomenal. I'll give you her information. She did my eyebrows and tinted them. Never had that done. I just went there for her to like clean them up a little bit. Um, I thought that, oh, I'll get them conditioned and I don't know. I saw it on on YouTube where they condition them and do all that. And it looked really cool. So I was like, oh, I'll have her do that. And she's like, how about tinting them? And I was like, hmm, i try it. <laughs> and uh, she did it and it, I loved it. So that's what I had done. So I loved it. So I did that. Now I'm gonna go in with um, our bronzer and our blushes. Thanks, Peg. That's our Speak Up palette, Fierce by Alley. So I just, I figured I'd just do something um, natural today. So you have none. You have no eyebrows, Sarah? Hey, you know what? We got stuff to fix that. <laughs> I love it. I know, that's why I blonde. I, I get a lot of, Blonde. That's why I tinted mine because my hair grows in so light. And uh, that's why I did mine. So I'm going to go in with this. This is just the bronzer. Create a little depth. I like to create depth down here. Makes my face look a little slimmer. And up here, I have a pretty oval face, so I just do it around here. I can't even imagine, like, I, I catch myself sometimes, like, the faces I make when I do makeup, and I'm just like, oh, I can't believe I'm doing lives and making those faces. And then I see you guys making them, too, so then I don't feel so bad. But wait till I do my mascara, guys. Those are the funniest faces. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks for watching. Um, so now I'm gonna go in with my blush. And I always do the darker here. It's so hard to see when we're doing the lives, guys. So, and then I have this palette. I don't, I think I got it from Lancome and it's kind of cool. It's just these shimmers. Um, and today I'm just going to do the sparkling pish, pish. It's really pretty. So it's just going to highlight the top of my cheekbones. And I really like that. It gives me more of a glow. God knows we can use the glow. I like the glow look. What do you guys think? Kind of cool, right? 
Thanks, Sarah. Love you. Love you, girl. Um, let me see. And then I am going to do a pressed powder. What color lips should I do? Guys, I, I'd love for you to share my, um, share my live. And then anybody that's interested in getting some, let's see, getting some skincare products, I do have a bunch of samples. I'd love to send them to you and get your, get you to try some of this stuff because it is amazing. And I think once you try them, you're gonna fall in love. So, also, hi Heather, one of my bestest friends ever, loves to race 22-year-old boys in Vegas. Stop racing those boys, girl. Leave those boys alone. Those young boys just want their cougar to race. So, yeah, I'd love to send you guys some samples. And then, um, this is my warming center. So funny. So, um, if you guys want to take that quiz for the foundation, I'll um, drop it in the comments. And then you could take the quiz and I can send you out some samples or a sample of our foundation. So our mascara, it's called the perfect mascara for obvious reasons. It is also a wax base mascara. So that's why I had it warming up in my warming center. You can just guess where that is. Um, so I had it warming up and then it goes on super smooth. There's absolutely no fallout. And if you guys notice, I put on my foundation and then I put on my eyeshadow, no fallout. Now I'm putting eye mascara, no fallout. Any other makeup brand you use, you're gonna have a ton of fallout. So this mascara is fiber building. So the more coats you use, the longer and the fuller your eyelashes are gonna be. They don't clump together. This is water resistant. Look at that, just the difference with, your eye, with my eyes. Can you guys see that? I have to swipe away so I can see. Can you see the difference? That's just one coat. I absolutely love this mascara. Excuse me. I had a burp. That was polite for me. I gotta swipe back over. Sarah, how are those boys? They're huge. Football season started again. I see you're out there. How's the weather in Vegas? So I'm just building this mascara. It's so nice, you guys. So this is smudge proof. Waterproof, water resistant. And then I'm gonna put a lid on my bottom. I know, don't make fun of my faces I make when I'm putting on mascara. No, I say don't make fun of my face when I'm putting on mascara because all you women do the exact same thing. I know. You do it. You do it. Look in the mirror next time. You just try not to when you're doing a live. But for some reason, when we make these faces, it helps our eyes open up more. Or does it? Does it? Or does it not? So... Okay, that is one coat. One 
coat of our mascara. Back to the warming center. Warming center. Good for something. Well, it's good for a lot of things, but it's good for that too. I am going to show you something. This is one of our eyeliners. It's got to build. That's one of our eyeliners. I'm not going to put eyeliner on today because I did the... Um, I did my eyeshadow, but I'm going to show you something on my hand because I want you to see how nice this stuff is. Hi, Baby D. One of my first partners that I fell in love with, that county. Never felt so protected in my life until I met that guy. Um, so these, so I'm going to try, let me see which lip I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do birthday cake. How are you, baby? Staying healthy? Staying in that house, taking care of yourself, I hope. So that's our Lip Enduring Liner. And this is our birthday cake. Birthday! I know you are. I know you are, baby D. It's all you can do. It's all anybody can ask of you, too. Just keep trying, buddy. I pray for you all the time. All the time. You know I love you. So, that is our birthday cake. I'm going to put on some of our Bliss lip gloss okay this i'm gonna get my mascara back out of my warming center baby d don't laugh i'm gonna go in for a second coat Second coat of mascara. Again, wax base, fiber building. These are my natural eyelashes, you guys. I don't have extensions on or fake eyelashes. These are mine. I'm saying I'm like, they're super long. They're not super long, but this perfect mascara makes a big difference. It's really nice to be able to say you're natural and you can accentuate your beauty with such beautiful products. And uh, that's why I love this stuff, so. And I want other women to be able to accentuate their own beauty. Don't try to look like other people. You're beautiful the way you are. So just enhance your own beauty. Don't go out saying, I want to look like this person or I want to look like this person. Look like you. Look in the mirror. Like, I want to look like her. I want to look like her. And I just want to accentuate that. And that's what I want for you guys. And that is why I'm selling these products. Because these products will do that for you. So 
I think two coats is more than enough. So this, I think, is going to be my finished look. Let me do some. See the lips? I'm such a goofball. So got the hair done today. Going darker every time I get it done. And husband's going to come home and be like, wow, it's dark. And then did the makeup. Let's see. For some reason, I like my blush a little bit darker. I just feel like, yeah, I like my blush a little darker. So we're gonna do darker. You know why? Because I can do it. You do what you want to do. Don't do things because other people do them or because other people tell you to do them. Do what you want to do and what makes you happy and what makes you feel beautiful. I'm so goofy. Okay, so this is my finished look today. So lastly, I want to show you this, guys. So I showed you about our foundations. This is our palette. It's what it looks like. Showed you about our mascara. Showed you about our foundation. Showed you about our shadows. I can go over colors if you want. Drop the comments. Please like, share, comment on this. But lastly, I want to show you about our liners. These are our liners. Smudge proof. Look at this. And I'm not, I'm touching so you can see. See that? Can you guys see that? They do not come off. I'm going to wet my finger. It's wet, right? Can you guys see the water? Look. That one is not coming off. And I'm scrubbing, so a little bit. That one is not coming off. So, if you guys have questions, comments, want to know what I'm wearing, you need to order some, just want to chat, want some samples, please comment, like, and share my video. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Make sure to tell yourself, you look in the mirror, you tell yourself how beautiful you are, and I love you. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful day.